In this video, I'm going to talk about how we can combine the ICT concept order block with the other ICT concepts. So now let's get into the video. So what do we see price is doing right here? Price is entering a discount within the range. And that means when price is entering a discount and there is some imbalance, price is most likely going to respect that imbalance. And what do we have over here? We have this large busy buy side imbalance, sell side inefficiency. And if we zoom in, we see price is respecting the consequent encouragement of this bullish failure gap with the bodies, which means price is most likely willing to move higher. So now we want to look for an order block because we know price is most likely willing to move higher. And what do we have right here? These consecutive two consecutive down close candles. These are a change in state of delivery, which is an order block. And I would definitely recommend watching the video I made about change in state of deliveries. So now we want to look for another ICT concept. And what do we have right here? We have a bullish valley gap, a busy buy side imbalance, sell side efficiency. So why do we want more than just an order block? The reason for that is because if we have another ICT concept, the probabilities are higher that price is willing to move higher from that point of interest we have. So right here we have a change in state of delivery and a bullish valley gap. So what if we were to take a trade entry based off these two ICT concepts? So we see the change in state of delivery are within the bullish value gap. So in that case, we want to take a trade entry right at the change in state of delivery and put our stop loss at the low and then target a obvious strong liquidity. And what do we have up here? We have these relative equal highs, which are a nice and strong strong liquidity. So that is probably where price is most likely going to look at. So then we could take profit up here. And of course, we could take partials at internal range liquidity or these its immediate term highs. And we also see that the intermediate term highs are getting disrespected, which means price is willing to move higher. So in that case, we see the price makes a retracement down into the change in state of delivery again, and then after that moves higher, taken out or drawn liquidity, which was our initial point of interest. So that's how we can combine the ICT concept order blocks with other ICT concepts. So now a bearish example would look something like this. We see price entering a premium where there is a bearish failure gap, a SIBI, sell side imbalance, buy side inefficiency. I would see price is respecting this SIBI, then moving lower, closing below these three consecutive up close candles, which also indicates lower prices. So then we see right when price closes below it, retesting the area, also touching this failure gap, which we then see price respects, taking out sell side liquidity on two areas. And then after that, we see price retest this area and then moves lower, taking out internal range liquidity. So we see how this change in state of delivery with this failure gap worked two times. Right here for the next example, we see that we have this down close candle, which is a continuation order block because we're in a uptrend. And we also see within this down close candle, we have this inversion failure gap, which combines with this continuation order block. So we see price retest this area, touching con consequent encouragement of the order block and almost touching consequent encouragement of the inversion value gap. And then we see price respect this, creating another inversion value gap, which is another confirmation, and then takes out internal range liquidity and even moves higher. So personally, I wouldn't take this trade entry as we see we have relative equal dose below, right here which in my opinion is a strong draw on liquidity, but we still see this working out. So for next example, we see the price sweeps a lot of sell side liquidity, then after that moves higher. So what do we see here? First of all, we see that we have a change in sales delivery, which price respects, also respecting the consequent encouragement. And what do we also see within this change in sales delivery? We see that we have this fairly gap. So already here we have combined two ICT concepts. What do we also see? We have this Douglas candle, which is a order block. So then we see price moves higher, creating an inversion fairly gap right here. And then what do we see? We see price retest this area where the order block is and respects it by the body. And after that moves higher, taking out buy side liquidity and also liquidity all the way up here. 
So there are two scenarios where price combined to ST concept with order blocks. I accidentally called the 0.5 range or the midpoint of the order block the consequent encouragement, but it's originally called the mean threshold, just so you guys know it. What do we see here for the next example? So we see that price has this relative equal highs up here. So in that case, this would be our main draw on liquidity. So then we would go into the charts and find a order block, which we could combine with another ICT concept. So we have this order block right here, which we see price makes a retracement down into right here. And what this is there also with the order block, there is a fair value gap. So then we see price retest this area, respecting it, then moving all the way up, taking out the equal highs. So what would this look like in lifetime? Now we just went up to the high time frame, and we see that price retests this area right here, this value gap. And we see price touched it by the tick, making a small mohawk through it. So now we'll go down into lower time frame and look for a trade entry where this up here will be a main draw on liquidity. Now down here on the five minute time frame, we could also see this as a change in safe delivery if we wanted to. So now let's play price through. So right here we see price makes a close above this change in safe delivery, and we also have this value gap, which price could potentially trade bound back to. See price trades back into the change in safe delivery, and now here comes our trade entry. So we see price makes a retracement down into the order block, also touching this right here, which is a fairly gap. So if we were to take a trade entry, we could buy, put our stop loss at this low down here, which we don't want to see, get tested back to, and then target, of course, our main draw on liquidity, which would be these equal highs up here. So let's see if price can manage to take out these equal highs. And finally, we see price takes out the equal highs. And we also see price retested a lot of areas where which you could potentially take a trade entry at. So this right here. We also had this fairly gap down here, which could be potential trade entry, which price respect the consequent encouragement of. So now just for our main trade entry, we see that price comes down into the order block fairly gap. So we could just look at the risk reward ratio where we would put our dollars down here and target the equal highs, which make a 6.3 risk reward ratio. We found out there are mostly two PDRAs which price combines with these order blocks. So the first one is the fairly gap, and the second one is the inversion fairly gap.